welcome to the NSSF Friends with Benefit show season two. This is the eighth episode. My name is Gaetano. And my name is Crystal. Now, Friends with Benefits is a show about success stories that inspire and motivate not only those who are still saving, but even those yet to begin a social security savings plan with NSSF. Yes, in addition, the show is about financial literacy. That's the emphasis. Valuable information that teaches savers the importance of having a plan with their savings. Now, on last week's episode, we met Judith Sheena. She used her invalidity benefits to pay for her breast cancer treatment and to start a medical tourism company. And we also met Alusha Samuel. What he did, well, with his withdrawal benefit, he opened up a hardware store which is booming. Mm-hmm. Remember that at the end of this show, we will announce the winner from last week's episode. They will make it to the top eight contestants, and they will be that one step closer to the grand prize of 30 million shillings, or 15 million shillings as first runner-up, or 10 million shillings as second runner-up. But now, let's meet our panel of judges, the people who ask the questions, the right questions to help us make informed decisions when it comes to our votes. That's right, there's 55 million at stake over here, so let's find out who the judges are, who can we know, but let's really introduce them. Mm -hmm. First up on our panel, we have Stevens Mwanje, Chief Finance Officer at NSSF. Hello. Hello, Crystal. Welcome back. Thank you. You guys talk so nicely. Hello. Thank you. Oma Mabel Chigunda, how are you? Olive class money. Yes, that's Mabel Chigundu, of course. A human resource specialist. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah? Even us, we're tight. Like okay, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's special. <laughs> we have Paul Busharizi, public editor from New Vision. Welcome to the show again. Thank you. All right. And last but not least, we have the lady looking so beautiful, lovely. I love the hairstyles. Her hair is always yeah, it's doing a, fantastic mm -hmm. things. <laughs> we have none other than Barbara Arimi, uh, head of marketing and communications at NSSF. How are you? Fine, thank you, Gaetano. Fantastic. Okay. Now, Time for us to find out who is going to be the first contestant for tonight. We have Mr. Patrick Okello, who hails from a leader. Uh, let's find out exactly what he did with his benefits and how he invested it on the screen. I retired from Uganda Revenue Authority in July 2016 after working in the organization for 22 years. Hello, welcome to Lira. My name is Patrick Jeremy Okello. I received the age benefit, and this is my NSSF story. When I was getting my NSSF benefit, I reported to the Mbale office. They gave me forms to fill, and then after filling these forms, within one month, I got my benefits. When I got my NSSF benefit, I invested in Estates where I put 80 million shillings and I completed it and I managed to put it into a rentable state with three small apartments. I'm also developing this place where we are with two units of apartments. This would be able to earn me about 500,000 shillings in a month. The other part of the investment which I did was in my agroforestry project. Here I have trees for fruits and trees for timber. These are the orange fruit trees. People come and collect it from the farm. We have here 2,000 pine trees, which are planted slightly earlier on, but uh, contribution from NSSF helped me in weeding and uh, looking after these trees. These ones have now taken 12 years, so we have about uh, only two more years to, to harvest it. I also managed to set up a modern apiary with eight Kenya top bar beehives. We expect to have our harvest by the end of this December. Our aim is to supply the local market. The other investment which we put in was uh, the peanut butter project. We do this together with my wife. We process peanut butter in two different types. There is peanut butter premium and there is peanut butter 
Super. So super is on a granite salon. So the premium is a combination of Sim Sim and granite. We have partnered with Uganda Industrial Research Institute, which is doing research on peanut butter. This is where me and my wife bring groundnuts and we process it into peanut butter. When we receive the benefits, we stepped up the volume of business we have been doing with uh, peanut butter research and processing center. Flores came and trained from here uh, in peanut processing and she has taken up the initiative to expand and grow her business together with her husband. But I believe that it has been possible because of how they have been serving with NSSF. If I had not served with NSSF, personally, I would not have had that discipline to keep the kind of money which I saved with NSSF. And personally, I would not have been able to make profits out of it as NSSF invested this money, made some profits out of it, and we earn interest on it. Well, there you go. That's Mr. Patrick Okello from Lira, and he's here in the studio today. Please help me welcome Patrick Okello. <laughs> Mr. Okello, how are you? Mr. Okello, yes. you have uh, been very busy. Bees, peanut butter, citrus, you name it, you, you're doing it. So if you had not been saving, what do you think you would have been doing with your unsaved money? What would you have been doing? Uh, I would have used it into an unprofitable venture. All right. Well, Mr. Okello, I'm going to throw you over to the wolf's den. Uh, let's go over to our judges. An uh, interesting story. Um, I just had uh, one question. I saw you have a multiple of, of things you're doing. How did you choose? How did you choose these uh, ventures? What was your thinking process? Long before I started employment, I had made up my mind that I should one time earn economic rent. So as soon as I got employment, then I thought of buying land and building. I was lucky my father got me a commercial uh, plot in Lira municipality. But then I was working in Kampala. Then I decided that Kampala makes more sense in terms of economic rent than Lira. So I decided not to invest in that land given to me by my father, but to buy my own land where I would earn more economic rent. My thinking was that I should invest more in land in Kampala so that I could earn this economic rent which I would in future plow into those other areas, the rural land, and do this agroforestry project, the apiary, and even the other rentals which I've decided to develop in my hometown later. Uh, Patrick, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. What advice would you give to another person who is about to retire? The advice I would give to them is the individual should have tried many things because this money is a last resort. You can't play about with it. You should only invest it in areas which you have tested and you have found to be workable. And that's the kind of thing I've tried to do. Okay. Patrick, I also presume that you already heard about uh, the voluntary saving under NSSF. Yeah. Have you put your thought to it? Yeah, I've put my thoughts to it. And indeed, that's what I've also said in my thing, that as my business expands, uh, we'll employ more people, including myself. And then I will contribute in mobilizing domestic savings for investment through NSSF. So I've given it a very serious thought. And I'm going to <laughs> enter into that. All right, I think uh, the judges are done with their questions. Of course, savings is a very important part and uh, needs to be put in one's culture. The only thing me I save, I save the, 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 the chicken piece for last. 
when I'm eating food, that's where my savings go. But uh, uh, let me come over to you on a more serious note. Um, you work hand in hand with your wife. Do you have many disagreements with your wife when you're working together on all of these different projects? No, there are no disagreements. Because first of all, we respect each other. We have also drawn boundaries. What I make major decisions on and what she makes major decisions on. So because of that, we run our business very smoothly. Behind every successful man, there's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much indeed, uh, Patrick. If you would like to, to vote for, for Patrick Okello, why don't you do so? Just go and type star 254 hash and then go to Friends with Benefits. You can also do it online, which is nssfug.org. Is it you could ever say, Davy? Abog is it? HD Boa Nalim Zidam Chisawe Nembula Mova with you. Nansobolo Queto Sako Blichin Yagala. Nayo luna kulumu Biyona nebi kwa o Si inga luna tege kero bukade wangi Nandiba dembla mwogo ya gaza kati Every year, millions of Ugandans retire into poverty. To reduce that number, NSSF has introduced voluntary membership, which allows more Ugandans to save with NSSF and makes contributing easier by letting you pay through mobile money. It is available to individuals who run companies that employ less than five employees, as well as those who used to save with the fund and are now gainfully self-employed but are below the age of 60. Sign up today by visiting your nearest NSSF branch. NSSF. A better life.